Beat Subsonic Beast. Hey everybody, it's me, Diogen Z. Welcome to my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough, and today we are going to make it. I swear by all that is Pokemon, we are going to make it to the Elite Four today and mark our claim. The Pokemon League reception gate. Let's hope I didn't lose any of my badges. Boy, that would have sucked, huh? I went home, changed my clothes overnight, and left all of my badges at home. That would have been funny. A last challenge for all trainers. Remember to bring your badges. Very fortunate that it's just permanently pinned to us no matter what we do on the start screen. And what do you block? Mount Silver, huh? Scary strong Pokemon out there, too, huh? Well, there's scary strong Pokemon surrounding us, people. But we will go forth. To Victory Road! Now, if you're still needing to level up some experience points like I am, you don't need to see the battles, but you can come in here and there's not many trainers to verse but there's plenty of wild gravelers and uh, other strong types of course you could see that in the beginning of this episode but there's also tons of items here too which will help you in the elite four so grab them if you can this is pretty much a prime spot to raise up any water pokemon really because they can all be pretty much taken out with a Surf, anything that you face here. With the occasional Golbat, that might be a little tough. Uh, it's really a, a good spot to get some experience points without having to worry about trainer battles. Because there is no Versus Seeker here, we have to go with all the leveling up we can. And I don't really like to get phone numbers from people during Let's Play slash walkthroughs. Uh, yes, it is the spot where you can get more experience points from trainers, but getting a call every five seconds is not good for recording, so that's why we don't do it here. But there is a secret that lies at the end of this cage, cave. I said cage, but it is a cage. Cage of, uh, of tests of wild mountainous Pokemon. You know, it's interesting. I was reading the comments, and apparently I'm not the only one who thought you could somehow glitch through the textures. Some people said a pogo stick might be an item you use to climb up mountains. And especially with them taunting you with the fact that you went to freaking Kanto, which when you're really on the outskirts of it, if that's it, it's a little bit a part of the map. But barely. Barely. It's not like you can go to Viridian City or Pallet Town from where you are here. I just realized we went in a repeating loop there. Uh, it's not like you can do that. They're just... They're taunting you. They're saying, hey. Huh? Look, it's Kanto. Yeah, but you'd like to get there, wouldn't you? But hold it. Are you going to take the Pokemon League challenge? Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. I'm not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest... Pokemon with me. I'm invincible! Dio Gen Z, I challenge you! I accept. You think you've got the strongest shit around, huh? Obviously, you haven't battled up us in a long time, and now you do have six Pokemon. I remember debating with myself, did you have that before? You probably did. So let's see what he thinks is so strong. His Sneasel. Okay bit more leveled up than before. But remember, Sneasel is part ice, not only a dark type. So, steel type moves will be super effective. Take it out. Ah, damn. That screech messed up somehow Eevee's accuracy. Shattered its brain cavities. I know it doesn't really do that. It only weakens defense, but in actuality, it made Iron Tail miss. Nah, that's just a problem with Iron Tail. It doesn't have 100% accuracy. 
Ah, we have to take this thing out fast because if it keeps you using that fury cutter. Ah, no. It's going to be super effective against anything we throw out. We're going to have to burn this thing to the ground. That's a good thing about Fury Cutter. It's a bug type move, and my fire types will resist it. But also, it's super effective against ice types. <laughs> so you think you've got the strongest shit, huh? If you can defeat my three fist style, <laughs> then I'll let you leave here. But you can't mess with us. We've got a type to balance out any other type you throw out. I had two, count them, two attacks ready to take out your Sneasel. Whether it was Iron Tail, unfortunately, Eevee fainted. Damn you for taking away its happiness. You will pay in Thunderbolt's pain. But, uh,. We also had my Typhlosion, which shattered the Sneasel in one hit. One flame wheel! That's all it took. Ah, I see you've got strong moves as well. But not strong enough to repel my lightning bolts with critical hits! Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Gaining some level ups before we exit the cave. Next up, Magneton, huh? We've got something for that. In fact, since Magneton, as I so often forget, does not have any levitation abilities, especially in second gen when there was no abilities, Chabak and his dig, which is a ground type move, will be super effective. I want to make sure that I'm faster than it. Ah! And now we're paralyzed for paralyzed. Well, I was faster anyway. You won't get me underground. But you're not grounded. <laughs> That's the fortunate thing about uh, it being steel and electric. Ah, oh, come on. I had to be fully paralyzed. That's a good thing about it. It will be super effective when it's struck with a ground type move. Let's see if you could take that. Oh, yeah. Your Pokemon are so strong. It's just a thunder shock, not a thunderbolt. As we've seen on our own chew, thunderbolt would be a lot more beastly. Ha! But our para paralysis kicks in when we don't need it, when we're underground, figures. It's gone now. Come on, what you got next? Kadabra? Oh, pff, please. You think a psychic type is going to shun us? Hmm. Oh, well, that's the only thing. Eevee has fainted. And that was my main hitter of dark slash ghost type moves. Alright, you. See what you can do. We do have higher levels. And if we confuse... Oh, how can it not be confused by that? If we confuse it, throw it off its guard, and paralyze it, we might be able to whittle it down quickly without it launching too many drastic psychic attacks. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's get paralysis going. It's a good thing about Chu, although it doesn't have Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave kicks in pretty nicely. <laughs> Especially along with that confusion. Ah! He did get off that future side attack before we launched anything at him. Hopefully he won't get another chance to do that. And I must say, I like having a uh, team that's not supercharged with three members being overleveled. Makes things a lot more challenging. A final dizzy punch to knock him out. Good battle, Chu. See, me and Shu, we've got our friendship stats perfectly leveled out. It's just that Eevee that we need. That's the cool thing about getting a uh, Pichu from an egg. We wouldn't be able to see a Pikachu until we got to the Kanto region. So, Chu is actually kind of a rarity. For now, at least. Ha! Huh, you don't even have a Gengar. How could you say you've got the strongest Pokemon when all of them aren't even... <laughs> 
<laughs> fully evolved, and then they knock themselves out with curse. That is that has got to be a meme now. I swear, knocking yourself out with curse. I don't know how it's not up there with I like mudkips, but it should be. Go bat, huh? Well, let's see if you find this shocking. Oh! Electricity puns. Wow. I can't believe we weren't hit with a uh, future site. I guess that's because no Pokemon had an attack ready to be launched. No attack could be foresaw. Ha! My chew is like a wall. A thunder wall! Oh, you're so on the verge, but yes, you're paralyzed. Please don't hit. Please don't hit. Damn it. It would have been so cool if it got paralyzed and didn't even get a chance, but ha ha. We linger on the edge and not paralyzed. Dizzy punch to the death. Man, Chew is beast in it. I didn't realize what a brawler it could be. So that was your strongest, huh? I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. Wow, your everything is pretty pathetic. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. Yeah, just give us your money, you lost punk. It's over. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. We'll step in line. We're first. I'm going to find out why. I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. And I'll beat you down with all my power. Humph. You keep at it until then. So basically what you're saying is don't die on me. I'll be back to face you once more. So before we exit the cave, there are some other items that we can get. I just wanted to face our rival. I couldn't wait. The excitement was pounding, and I wanted to see how his team had transformed. Not too intense. Definitely on the level of what we faced outside of this cave before we went on the uh, path of the Elite Four. Path to the Elite Four, I should say. If we were going through the Elite Four, we'd be in the building already. But now, we are about to enter Indigo Plateau. The ultimate goal for trainers. Pokemon League Headquarters. We are at the Indigo Plateau, right outside where we can heal our Pokemon, buy last minute items in the Mart, and talk to a mysterious man who has an Abra. I think I may choose the latter option. As I mentioned before, I want my Eevee fully evolved into Umbreon. That didn't happen this time. We are going to have to go on a training montage. Ah, you're challenging the Elite Four. Are you sure you're ready? If you need some more time, my Abra can help you. It can teleport you home. Would you like to go home now? Okay, okay, picture your house in your mind. <laughs> 